Hey, you guys. Hey. Whoa. hey. No. Take that out. That's not good. Cut. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Action. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Blooper reel. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel I'm here today with Heather and we are going to play the never have I ever game Heather have you ever played this I think we may have somewhat played oh, it once but you and I, we did play this we but played it was this, not a great one we played this together just us if you are interested in what we have or more like what I have done and what Heather has not <laughs> uh, please How continue rude. continue to watch okay be sure to subscribe like comment turn on your post notifications here we go Heather's going to be reading the questions that we have uh, we bought two of these for a few games that we had in mind um, we have no idea where the other one's gone. The first question. Never have I ever farted in a store and quickly left the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> and you ready? <clears throat> yeah. And go. Wait, you should probably get Can these clothes. Apparently we both have. I've worked retail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For a very long time, I want to say, there has been many times in which I have farted while stocking the shelves and ran, like, like, ran, ran. I worked at Food City, and for any of my coworkers, if you, past coworkers, if you see this, oops. But many a times, I farted and ran around the, into the next aisle, and let I mean, the customers blame each other. Like, no, it's I've, whatever. I have legit not ran. There have been customers there, and I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, I, I just farted. Whatever. <laughs> okay, next one. Never have I ever got into bed with my parents after a bad dream. Past tense. You know, obviously. Oh, okay. And go. We both have. I mean. I have. One time. Okay, let me tell you about this. This is when my mother and father were still together. I had a dream and there was a witch in the house. I was like five, six, okay? There was a witch and she was on the toilet for whatever reason, I don't know. But anyway, every time I would wake up from the dream, I would go back to sleep, you know, because I'm grown as hell, I'm five, six years old, whatever. I would go back to sleep, the dream would start over. Have you ever had that happen? Yes. It would, oh, it would start over. Cliff yeah, so it was like a continuous rail of this witch on the toilet. So, yeah, I got in my parents' bed and was like, what the hell's going on? I had a dream. You remember the Goosebumps movie? Werewolf of Fever Swamp? Yeah. Had a dream multiple times that the wolf was in the moon and coming at me. And I actually woke up running in the house one time. So, I sleepwalk and I don't even do that. But yeah, obviously you were that caused. Sleepwalking? Yes. Oh shit! I was if you did that now, I would have you committed. I can't. I was sleepwalking and was woke up walking back in the house, so I really was doing what was in my dream. Creepiest thing. I would lock Creepiest the door. Thing. Your your bitch ass would be sleeping on the glider out there on the porch. No, uh, I don't play. I don't play with the hat. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Never have I ever googled sex positions. I'll be truthful. Can you, I have. Her says kinda. No, you have. Also, for anyone who wonders, I am scratching my nose to death because it's allergy season. And we dusted. I'm allergic to dust. Me too. And so is Heather. I mean, and so is Kayla. We all have allergies in this house. So, we're kind of a mess, honestly. In many ways. Anyways, let's get back to this. You okay. kinda. I have kinda. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> so when I was in high school, um, Xbox 
was a thing and it's call still of, a thing. Okay, whatever. Call of Duty is still a thing. Whatever was a thing. Okay. And the boys always talked about this tea bag situation. <laughs> okay? In high school. So they would always talk about this tea bag thing. And I'm like, what what the hell is tea bag? I mean, I don't know what that is. And um, I did Google it, and I did also ask my friends, which was the same thing that Google told me. And <laughs> <clears throat> but I will say, I did Google Karma Sutra. That's what it is, right? Karma Sutra? It's a thing, yeah. Yeah, I Googled because I, I was, something come up about That's that at some point. But I don't know. What Probably. is Karma Sutra? Text on sexuality, er eroticism, and I knew it was a so okay. See, but anyways, I googled the basic sex book just to see what the different positions was, and my mind was blown. I was like, "What the?" But you know, obviously, that's not the none of that was the style I was going to be doing things. But that's another story. All right. Okay, what's next? Never have I ever been attracted to a teacher and or boss. Okay, I got it. All okay. right, ready? And... I have not. I have. And there is no, I'm not telling the story to that. Just know, at some point, I was attracted to a teacher. I'm embarrassed by it because of the, the, the... Why are you embarrassed by it? Because it was not even an attractive teacher. I don't know what it was. It was just, I guess, the authority and the... I know, stop it, stop it. I guess it was more of, uh, they were actually good to me instead of just teachy teachy i don't know how to explain it i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to explain it i haven't if you are my past teachers i'm sure you're beautiful you're amazing people i just was i wasn't attracted to you and if and you're my, my past teachers i'm sorry don't wonder which one it was because i'm never going to tell you was it that way? You nobody knows who it is. I don't know. Anyways, let's go on to the next one because that one's uh, one turn red. Have you never um, have I ever dined and dashed? Oh, and we neither have dined or dashed. I've had someone do this to me, <laughs> though, because you were a waitress. I was a waitress. I worked at the Huddle House. Um. And I was serving um, some Shout out to the huddle. Hey. <laughs> um, my first job ever. Um, I had some EMTs that I was serving one night. And these. Lovely they, EMTs. Thank you for your work, service, whatever it is. They dined and dashed. I'm sure they dashed for emergency purposes. Nonetheless, I had to pay that out of my tips, and it was like over $30, and I was not the best waitress in the world, <laughs> so that was pretty much all my tips for that night, I just want to say. And you used Thanks. them all on a claw machine, but well, that's well, also that's another story. Stop. Anyways, okay. Just okay. Okay. Never have I ever had a one-night stand. Huh. Who in this room would have done such a that. thing, Kilo? I have not. I have a few. Whatever. Mm. Nobody cares, really. Story I'm time? sure you do. But whatever. Story time? I don't. <laughs> Listen, no. No story. I had Rude. before had a one night stand. Maybe. Next, never have I ever practiced kissed on an inanimate object. <laughs> we both have because we were children at one yeah. point. 
and every child has. You use a teddy bear. I'm, or I'm pretty sure I kissed a pillow. Let, let's out my sister. I caught her kissing a mirror one time and she will die when she sees this. But I did. And I'm, it was I'm hilarious. tagging you in this when I post it on Facebook. Alright. Never have I ever cried on a children's movie. Man. Don't even. Don't use that one. Just go on to that. Mind your business. She says kind of. She lies. I have. I will admit it. Listen. Okay. I don't watch many children's movies. Oh, as to, me. As to the fact that I do not have children. However, I have watched children's movies previously. And I'm just going to tell you. Like, like <laughs> Santa Paws. I cried. <laughs> um, Santa Paws? Yes. Tarzan. I cried. Watching it as an adult, I cried. Oh, she has emotions. Bambi. <sighs> Let's not even talk about Bambi. No. That was my brother's favorite movie when we were kids. Tommy, I'm sure you don't remember this. But he used to w want to watch Bambi all the time. And I would be so annoyed because it was so sad. It is the saddest movie ever. But it was his favorite movie when we were kids. I rarely kids. watched Anyways. Okay. Jumping on. Um, never have I ever stolen from a store. We both have because we're horrible people. I accidentally stole from a store. I did it totally on purpose. <laughs> oh, Lord. Not even, not even gonna lie. As long as it was under 500, it is not a felony. I know this. Anyway, I have. Okay. Okay, never have I ever cut my own hair or someone else's. And I don't mean like purposefully making it look good cut it. I mean, shave a little hole in their head or or try to cut it and got your bangs a little crooked or something like that, you know? I'm confused as to what the question is. Like, as a child, have you ever cut your own hair? Oh. Or someone else's? I have. I, have I cut a hole in the back of my grandpa's hair as a child with some scissors. Papa Joe. Just like, ch -ch -ch. and it went, ah! No, you did not cut <laughs> Papa Joe's hair. I did. <gasps> I didn't cut my own though. I still had pretty hair. He just had a big hole in the back of his head. I mean, he was already trying to bald on top, but not the back. He was looking fresh in the back until I cut it. Oh, I love Josephine. Sorry, Papa Joe. I love you. It's Josephine. <laughs> I love Papa Joe. All right. Well, never have I ever regifted a gift. <laughs> Hold on. Actually, let me think about this. I have. I actually don't think I have. I think I have not. I think I just throw it away. I get a lot of or gifts. Or return it. Okay. That I don't like, or I don't want, or I don't need. I'm not a person that really. I'm not a gifty type person, you know. So I have regifted gifts before. I mean, I have. I'm sorry if you ever gave me a gift and I regifted it. I'm sure whoever I gave it to loved it. If that helps. Never have I ever eaten food off the floor. Not everybody has. Let's just say we both have, but we're from like Kentucky. No, that doesn't even matter. <laughs> I mean, the 10 second rule is everywhere. True. My trainer the other day is not from Kentucky, and she, I mentioned the 5 second rule, and she was like, 10. If you are not in Kentucky, is the 10 second rule a thing where <laughs> you are? Comment down below and let me know. Let's move on so the battery doesn't die. Never have I ever stayed up for 24 hours. We both have, but I only did to prove that I couldn't pass out as soon as it 24 was up. I've stayed up more than 72 hours. Actually, 78, but you just... I'm not human. No, okay. no you're not. She's an alien. Yeah. I am not a human being. Never have I, oh, where'd it go? Never have I ever tried to see how many marshmallows I can fit into my mouth. That is the Chubby Bunny Challenge. I 
I have. I thought you had never done that. Haven't I? <laughs> I no, know. I haven't. I, I, we were, I was going to say, I thought we were speaking about this the other day and you said I have not. I've never done that, no. Yeah, I have. You gotta I eat marshmallows a lot. I love marshmallows, but you gotta put them in your mouth one by one and say chubby bunny until you can't say chubby bunny anymore. I honestly don't remember how many I got into my mouth, sadly, but I think we should do that soon because I want marshmallows. If you wanna see that, comment down below. Who do you think could get more? Comment down below. You have a big mouth, so you. <laughs> That's rude as hell. Okay, whatever. Never have I ever dropped my phone into the toilet. Oh my god. I have not. Okay. Let me explain myself. <laughs> so, I wear pants, obviously. But anyway, I have my wallet in one pocket. I have my phone in the other. Like a normal, not every person, but some people. Okay? I have sat down on the toilet before and my ass is, you know, there. And it has literally pushed my phone out of my pocket into the toilet. One time I caught it. Okay. Sometimes it falls into the floor. Sometimes your keys go in the behind it. The, <laughs> let's not talk about that. The majority of the time my phone falls into the floor. One time it did happen to fall into the toilet. It was fine. I did get it before it was totally ruined. Did you rice it? And I did not have to rice it, no. It worked out well, but it still happened. Never have I ever dated more than one person at a time. This is just rude. I have not, because I'm not a hoe. I have done a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> that I would not care to talk about on camera. However, Yes, I have dated more than one person at a time. I did not, I didn't date in high school because I was closeted homosexual. But that's not the point. I was trying real hard not to be. <laughs> I tried real hard not to be by being celibate, but it's, it's not the point anyways. We went different paths. We did. 